Okay, so in this video, we'll see how to make the ball collide with the walls. So first of all, to do that, we need to actually create some walls. So to create the walls, let's go here to the hierarchy, right click, create empty. And whenever you create an empty game object, you can see that here in the transform, uh, the game object appears with a random position. So let's reset the transform by right click and right clicking and hitting reset. Now let's call this game object a uh, top wall, for example. And let's add a component to this wall. Let's add a box collider to the component. So whenever we want collisions to happen between game objects, we, we need to give those game objects some colliders. So we're going to give a wall a collider and we also need to give our ball a collider. We're going to do that later. For now, let's just move our wall to the top over here. And you can try to, pay, to put in here, to put it, to place it manually. But what we're going to do is that we're going to set the position to 5. 0.5 so it's right here so the collider um the collider is exactly it starts exactly where the boundary of the camera is and now we need to make the collider larger on the x-axis so to do this here in the in the box collider component over the mouse over the size on the x on the x axis and just drag it to the right like this click and drag and you will make the collider larger on the x-axis all right so now what we can do is that we can select the top wall and hit Control d and rename this to bottom wall like this and we can drag it down and position it at position minus 5.5 .5, just to make it uh, exactly where we just to place it exactly where we want to and you can see that the top wall has disappeared but this is not true because if you select the top wall you can see that it appears again here and if you hold shift and select the bottom wall you can see you can see that both walls are here it's just that if you click anywhere else in the scene they you cannot see the colliders but but they're still there although you cannot see them okay so now what we have to do is that we have to select the ball and give it a box collider 2d because if we don't give it a box collider 2d let's say we don't give it a box collider 2d and we hit play we're gonna hit play and the ball is gonna go right through the top wall and nothing's gonna happen this is because the ball does, doesn't have a collider so let's add a collider to the ball let's add a box collider 2d to the ball and now we hit play you will see that the ball collides with the top wall and it's still going in the direction it's still going in the direction and it keeps going in the direction it's just that now it's rotating without stopping so to fix that this happens because the ball has a little bit of friction or angular drag to fix this we can select the ball here and to stop the ball from rotating we can uh, we can go here to the rigid body component and click here where it says constraints and we can freeze the rotation on the z-axis and just so just check that box and now we hit play you will see that the ball collides with the top wall it keeps going it keeps going it keeps going and when it goes and it sets off it's not rotating anymore okay so we have that done one more thing that we can do is that we can make sure that uh, the ball collides with the paddle too so we have the right paddle here we can move it up and we can make sure that the right paddle and the, and the left paddle have colliders so select the right paddle hold shift select the left paddle add component let's add a box collider to d to both of them and now if we hit play you will see that the ball collides with the top wall and well it's not working pretty good but if i hit play and i select the right paddle i can move the right paddle over here and you can see that the ball collides with the paddle too so the ball is colliding with both a uh, game object with the paddle and with the walls but we need the ball to bounce off the walls and to bounce off the paddles because that's the behavior that we want for this game and we'll do that in the next video